Welcome back, travelers. The beta test for version 5.1 has begun, and we already have information about Spelank's secrets, secrets about his physical condition, and new characters. In this video, let's take a look at the new information we've gathered since yesterday. About Spelank, according to new information from Intel, Hespelank will not be a playable character. This is disappointing for players who were looking forward to seeing him. However, this information is still in the early stages and is subject to change. Concept art of him was discovered a few months ago, so there's still hope. According to the current you, Hespelank was your first flame, and he's just like the other centrifuges. It is said that he was originally an ordinary human being with no special powers, but after he became centrifugal, he created a system and rules for later people to become gods. In other words, your gods, everyone started out as normal humans. I haven't completed the new Magin mission yet, so I don't know where this information came from, but it's probably related to the new Magin mission, titled as Death of the Scorching Anti-Soul. So your goal may be to revive him in the next demon mission. To get new characters, you can buy Crystal from Lootbar.gg. It's a best top-up platform for games like Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact, Big Name Dekuja, and Teva Times are also are using for crystals. It saves you up to 20% of the actual in-game price for every item available and an extra 5% for your first purchase. The process is very simple. First, go to Lootbar.gg, select Genshin Impact, select your pack, then put your UID, select Region. Just tap on Top Up Now, select Preferred Payment Method, and get your Genesis Crystal. If you do want to top up in your account, we are getting double the currency for our first in-game purchase. Then I highly recommend you, check out Lootbar.gg through the link in the description and in the pinned comment. If that's the case, then the flame that Mavika was talking about in the first trailer is Expelank himself. Next, regarding physical condition, Mirko's information suggests that physical condition will not be playable in 5X, although other sources reposting this information say that the deliberations are unclear. The Fatua you meet on a demon mission in a new region are often playable in that region, so based on that theory, the next one should be physical condition. According to the Order of the Constellations, the next one should be Columbina. There was information that she was related to Enshin, but there is no information about her in the 5.0 and 5.1 beta versions, so I doubt whether she will appear in game or not. Finally, let's talk about Natlin's new character. The name is Aifa and she is mentioned in an upcoming voice line for Katsina Mulani Aifa. Characters mentioned in voice lines often end up in the playthrough. There should be three male characters in the story, including a medium spicy one like Bennett. There are probably two characters who are tall, and they are probably Kinnick and Expelank. Expelank is said to be a medium-sized character. Another tall male character might be Capitano or Kinnick are medium-sized and in good physical condition. It will be a tallest character. Which character would you like to see appear as? Let me know in the comments section.